Mr. Joker, I want to be your number one guy. You want to be my number one guy? Yeah, <laughs> like Bob. <laughs> but I don't want to end up like Bob. No, no. But it's the Joker, everybody. Today, we're gonna to be here at the Orange County Convention Center. For Spooky Empire 2024, this is a rescheduled Spooky Empire because of the hurricane. Spooky Empire invited us out, and you're gonna tag along now. Let's take a closer look. Just wanna say thank you to Spooky Empire for uh, saying yes and picking us to be a part of the, the press and everything to document this weekend. I've already met some people this weekend who came from England who told me the reason they came to Spooky Empire was because of my videos, which I think is pretty wild because I've never been to England. I love Spooky. They have the inflatables, the gigantic Frankenstein up here, the classic logo of Spooky Empire. I love this gigantic Frankenstein the photo op here. Cool. Got the badge. I love this. This is awesome. And uh, this is the entrance here to the show. But, but next to the entrance, there's the Gill Man. They've got these banners up where you can meet Clive Barker today. That's cool. All right, now it's time to walk in. Right as you walk in, look at this. Clive Barker is here. This is like his last con, I think. But they have this Hellraiser pinball. It is free. You can play. We got a lot to cover though. This is the, the tattoo fest over here. You can get tattoos. Some of them do take walk-ups, but I think you have to kind of book ahead. So if you know your favorite artist, look them up, see if they're gonna be here. And while you're here, you could, you know, potentially get a tattoo. They have a full stage set up here right in the front. It's like a rock concert. You can buy posters and stickers and t-shirts. It's just like a rock festival. Freak Show Unlimited always has some of the most top-notch, in my opinion. Look at this. Different hot sauce you can get. I really want to try that one. Queen Bee, Tony Todd. That's pretty cool. It's a honey mustard. Even Kane Hodder has one of his officials, but this is what me, me want to stop because I love their tiki mugs they have. They always do really cool stuff. And Reagan's here too to visit us. My buddies in DOA are here Hello. all weekend. Stop by, get some new stuff. Tell them I sent you. This is one of my favorites that DOA does, the Ed Wood. This is probably one of the most intricate cosplays I've seen all weekend. I stopped over to see my pal Skipper Haas. Got a lot of good stuff for Spooky Empire, but he'll be at the other Spooky Empires. He also has a website, so check it out online if you can't be here. Oh, I noticed that Michael was looking at butterflies over here. Or was it bats? You were, you were shopping for bats, not butterflies. Abby stopped into Monarch Manor Oddities. I had to make sure I say that correctly because I'm not good with words sometimes. A lot of cool, interesting things. You like this booth? Yeah, it's really yeah, cool. Yeah, it's cool. I like this guy right here. Some of the best cosplay here at Spooky Empire. Okay. Let's, get, let's get it on video, let's see. There it is. Thank you. She's going home with us. This is amazing. Got some Troma stuff here. I'm a big fan of the Troma. I love this, the Toxic Crusaders. There's Toxie right there. Got some records here and of course Blu-ray, Toxic Avenger. Blu-ray, I love that Blu-ray. All the Blu-ray and special edition stuff. Even goes in the back one at a time. It's very, very tight fit in here, but you can find all your classic horror favorites. I gotta peruse through this. Look who showed up from down the street, Jack and Chance. Great to see you. Great to see you as well. Jack is back. That's the first Bob anything I've seen here today. I figured it'd be more of a hit this year. I think that's one of the, the best right there. Holy cow. Papa got a little view of that too. That's, that's pretty awesome. The thing. I'm really into these. This is called Creep Tunes. Look at that. You got some country bear action. I'm a big fan of this actually. Wow. Corpse's Bride here. Casper. 
This is, this is, I love this. And even these, look, the Jack. I didn't know you guys were friends, but this is the best meetup possibly. This is the great team up right here. Going full animatronic now with Got Caricature. That's so cool. These are amazing for the holidays and any time of the year. Look at this, two of my favorites right here. It's so good. Stopped off, see my buddy Vaughn here. Love all the stuff they do. So good. I loved your new movie, all three of you. It was fantastic, yeah. <laughs> it's got her oddity stuff, but these are some really cool characters, and they do some of my favorites, like Mila there, also known as Vampira. These are so good this year. I love these. But if you want some of this, there you go. I turned around and there was a nun behind me. This is signed by the the, the full cast over here. Look at this. Wow. So many uh, characters here that I didn't think would show up. Yeah, Rick. He has one thing for you all to remember. Evil dies tonight. Yes. Yes, it does. Yes, yes it, it does. does. There it is. Oh. <laughs> you need this one. You need Corey's. He owes you money, doesn't he? Rick owes you money, doesn't he? No, no, you're good. You're paid up, pal. I paid up. You're paid up. I'm All right. Out. All right, good. He's just hanging out. He's hey, just saying, evil hey. Evil dies tonight. Evil dies tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so Jay has in his hand Here's the mask. The mask. Like, this is going to be for charity. Crazy We've got... story. This went all the way to Philadelphia. It went to <laughs> Jersey. It went to the Camp Crystal Lake. Really? So you took it? filming location. You took it there? Yeah, because I had to get Adam to sign it in Philadelphia. And the oh, after. that's right. I okay. Uh, Camp yeah. And then I went to. I love. Oh, say that again. Go. Camp No Bibusco. Yeah. yeah. I'll probably butcher it. I'll Is it Sco or Sco? I think it's Sco. Sco Sco. It's probably the opposite of what I said. It's I know what you're talking about. The original camp. The original uh, filming location. Yeah. Stayed the night there, and so this went with me because it was just happened to be there, and then we went to. We went to Pennsylvania. It's just been around everywhere. And now it's here in and Orlando. We, I, I will say we did um, we did a few of them last year, and they all went uh, to give kids the world. Yeah. And I don't know. I woke up one morning, and I said, I want to do a mask with the guys for Halloween. And then I was like, maybe, like, since we're creeping Christmas, and I'm like, maybe maybe Toys for Tots would be kind of cool. So, um, Tis the season, it's man. It's all about the kids. So yeah. We'll this, and we'll probably next year we'll go back. We'll do one for Give Kids the World. But... I'm going to focus, so it'll probably be like, it's going to be before Christmas. I wanted to do one on Halloween, unfortunately, with the hurricane, everything happened. Yeah. So I'm going to push maybe for Thanksgiving, maybe Black Friday might be a good day to do this. Cool. So we'll auction it off. All the money's going directly to the Toys for Tots. Sweet. All right. You got to sign it. Sir. I got to sign it somewhere. I might sign it right where Chris did, but on the other yeah, side. Yeah, that way it's symmetrically like... And that way it's kind of symmetrical. It's actually going to my Yankee loss on my gambling debt. Ah! Just kidding, just kidding. Yeah, Jay signed there, Rick signed there, Adam signed there, Chris, so I think I should sign right there, and it'll be the same spot. Okay, we gotta find a good spot. Myself, Adam, the Woo, and Chris the Girl have all signed this mask as we have done in the past. In the past. We're gonna raffle See? this off for it's charity. It's gonna go. It's all symmetrical. All funds are gonna go. Some of the celebrities we have this year, William Forsyth, We've got Michael Vogel over here. I remember him from Texas, Chainsaw. And Grind, I forgot about that, dude. Freaking Grind, dude, was he Jimmy Wilson in Grind? Was that his character? Oh, this is Nate Samantha from Terrifier, Terrifier 2 and 3. It's gonna be here. This is who I'm really excited about right here, man. Evil Ed, dude, Evil Ed. The cast of Fright Night. I'm a big fan of Fright Night. That's a really cool. $80 for the poster and signed right there. Well, for the, the posters. Regular autograph be 40 with Evil Ed. I did meet William Ragsdale one of the last times. This is Michael Stark. He was the, the neighbor, worked with Chris Sarandon. Oh yeah, I forgot, dude, he's in house. I forgot about that. And then you got William Ragsdale here. None of his stuff's out. Amanda Beers here. 
all the way to, hey, yes, it's true. This man has no, Doug Jones is gonna be here too. I know him as Billy Butcherson. He was also Mac tonight and a bunch of other characters. I met him before, got my Hocus Pocus picture. I should say poster size, a movie theater size poster. Michael Gross there. It's gonna be here, that's cool, man. And all weekend, Cause Effects is gonna be here, but they are doing a really good photo op this year. Look at this, we got the photos here. And there he is, there they are. This is so fantastic. Nine hours and 23 minutes. <laughs> Nine hours and, oh! And we are heading to the Fright Night panel right now. I'm super excited. They got a good chunk of the cast. Chris Randon couldn't reschedule and be here, but he was originally supposed to be here. But we do have Charlie, Amy, Charlie's mom, Mrs. Brewster, the Chris Randon's roommate. We also have Evil Ed. Yeah. All right. Up next we have Amanda Brown. There's Amy. We have William Maxwell. Charlie. This is Brewster. And rounding out our panel, Stephen Jeffries, everybody! Evil Ed! Everyone have microphone water? Oh yes, there's our tour water, perfect, we're all set. How are you guys? Great. <laughs> Good, <laughs> wonderful. No, it's been a great weekend, and thanks everybody for being yeah. willing to turn it around so quickly with the storm and come in and find us. Do you guys have the opportunity to be reunited at conventions? We probably do several a year, and sometimes, it, but rarely is it all of us. And of course, Chris Randon was supposed to be with us this trip, and he had had other plans um, already scheduled. But then sometimes we actually, it's just a few. We were at, uh, two weeks ago, we were up in Lexington, it was the Tom Holland and Chris, the entire cast, and it's really nice to have everybody together. We were, we had a great time. And we're great time here too. We don't need everybody to have a great time, but it's always fun to have. We're planning something for the 40th oh, wow. anniversary. Wow. Mm. Who's planning it? Oh boy. <laughs> Someone somewhere. You're planning it, Dorothy. About uh, your backstories and all that while you were getting into character. Is that something you had you guys doing? Yeah, we um, initially got there. It was such a started out obviously as a small movie and sort of under the radar and part of the luxury of that was that we didn't have a lot of studio interference and uh, Tom uh, Holland who wrote and directed it comes from the theater so he just he worked it out so that we would actually rehearse the film as a play um, and blocked out the set and all that stuff and just kind of <coughs> rehearsed it like we we're gonna put it up on stage and part of that process part of that rehearsal process was having us work on our biography and our backstory and you know so that we could sort of see how we all got to where we were in the film and that was uh, that was one of the assignments and everybody everybody did a great job comics in this film uh, it's nice to have that put aside and then <coughs> just find the relationships and the connection and the story that way yeah you know I, I for um, you know, when you're doing a play, of course, you have to have six weeks of rehearsal and all that stuff. <clears throat> but um, my experience with doing film is uh, I'm pretty much right for the part when I walk in the door for the first time. And uh, But, you know, it doesn't hurt. You know, it just gets you closer to the truth of the character, I guess, by writing it down. But uh, I, I, I don't think that that's... Necessary. Billy broke his leg, so I got an extra 10 weeks' pay, which was very nice. Thanks, Bill. Did I? Did I get 10 weeks' pay? You were working. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um, but basically, I'm the comic relief in the movie. So I, he called me in, I made a bunch of jokes, and that was it. I was hired, and then I showed up and did the work, and I had no idea until I started doing these last year that there had been this whole life for Fright Night without me. Oh. <laughs> We're learning together. You were always with us in spirit, Dorothy. But that wouldn't happen without you all. I, I find vampire movies incredibly boring. I, I don't, <laughs> I don't It's more about vampire assistant movies. <laughs> 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 yeah, anything with Renfield at all. Uh, <laughs> 
Um, I, the two things, and I grew up very near here in the little town called Winter Park. Oh. And the two things yeah. as a child that I was most afraid of were coral snakes, so you Floridians understand that, and, uh, and vampires. Now, a Coral Six movie I'd watch. Yeah, we were uh, working in Palm Springs uh, on fraternity vacation, and Amanda played my uh, girlfriend, and we had a good time, and uh, I got the script, and I went, well, actually, yeah, I got the script, I read it, um, and I talked to my agent, and I said, yes, I can't wait to play uh, the part of, uh, of Brewster. And she said, no, you're playing his friend, Evil Ed. And I just could not believe it. I mean, I, I was really shocked. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I met uh, Tom, Jackie Birch, all the you know, officials of the film and got the part, and Amanda, uh, how, how? Well, we were rapping for, okay, so perhaps Stephen was set up because the title of Fraternity Vacation was originally Wendell, which is the name of his character. So he's grand. <laughs> so that's why, yeah, I'll do the lead, because, yeah, why, why, let's just keep it going. No, but, uh, we were we were rapping for journey vacation and i said so what you got going anything else happening yeah i'm doing this little horror movie i said yeah what's it called friday night i said me too <laughs> that's how that happened and then a few weeks later we were back on set yeah to be light you know because it's it's that dichotomy between no but i'm serious this is really happening because of you the movie was so i good think that's, that's why you're saying <laughs> Me not being funny. Thank you for helping us. <laughs> you were ra it's rather unsung, but really, Billy is the heart and soul. You know, and of course, Roddy has an amazing um, presence in the film and, and what his character goes through. I mean, we all had very three dimensional characters, but Billy did have to hold that, drive that train the entire film. And you. That takes a lot to do that. Yeah, the, the excitement and uh, the passion that the makeup guys had was so infectious that it kind of eased the pain, you know, of having to sit in a chair for hours and hours and hours. And, uh, and you know, I, I, I knew that the final product was going to be pretty special. And, uh, but it, 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 it was tough. And, uh, the contacts were the worst. They had these hard plastic uh, things that they actually stuck in your eye, and they, it was very uncomfortable. And uh, you got like about two you got minutes yeah. later after the movie finished, they came out with the real soft ones that <laughs> don't hurt at all. So. I thought Glenn said so it was kind of an alien feeling anyway. You have just this pinhole of, of sight out of each one, and I had three different pairs as the character, the monster, you know, emerged. And the last pair was really giving me fits. And they put them in at the last minute before we start rolling. It wasn't like I had to walk around with them all day, but it was just giving me fits. And I'm, I'm not a squeaky wheel, or I wasn't then. And, um, <laughs> and I didn't really want to, you know, halt anything. But it got to the point where I, I had to say something, and they took them out and realized they hadn't sanded. They're painted, and they had the sand at the back of it. Because I knew evil was back there somewhere, and you know, Amy's kind of marching and taking charge in that moment, and, it, and it's, cut it out, evil! Not funny! <laughs> yeah. He's just been fired, and I try to, you know, convince him. You know, I'm trying to be polite. I'm trying to be, you know, respectful and all that stuff. But then at some point, I just sort of say, "Yeah, I believe in vampires, and I have one next door, and I want to kill him." I'll kill him. <laughs> and and Roddy's sort of take of like, "Oh, okay," because just seconds before he had been, you know, sort of angry that he got fired 
because people don't believe in vampires anymore. So that sort of turn is always fun to watch, just because it's I like the, the dialogue, I guess. The actual favorite creation was the first one I think I said, well, uh, I hate making cocoa in the microwave. It never melts the marshmallows right. right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have had long discussions with people about how to make cocoa. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, I think my favorite line, my favorite scene is when I'm knocking on uh, Roger McDowell's door, apartment door, after I had been bitten, and uh, I say, hurry up, open up, there's a vampire out here. <laughs> and of course, kind of a uh, loaded response, there really is. <laughs> He's not, you're not wrong. Uh, favorite line? I mean, Hey Kid was the first one I came on screen with, but, but every line, there was never a line in it that felt awkward or weird to me. Perhaps he didn't hear you. He goes, oh, he heard. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty brilliant. Yeah. Right? Yeah. brilliant. That was awesome. Very cool. And with cast a fright you. night. And with that, the weekend is over. Goodbye, Spooky Empire. And I will see you on the next adventure. Until then, stay weird. Goodbye.